And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Kindred Spotlight Day. Yesterday we uh, chose our random champion to spotlight today and we rolled Kindred. So we got four different Kindred decks. Kindred Lux, Kindred uh, Zoe, and, and uh, Kindred's Fate are all going to be kind of slower control decks with Kindred. And then we're also going to try it with Noxus and being aggressive with Draven. Uh, but let's start first with Kindred Lux. So Lux, these are both two champions that don't see a ton of play, but they're definitely champions that I really like. They're just um, well-designed champions that I think are, are fun to play um, and kind of underrated, especially Lux. Lux is a really underrated champion. These Final Sparks are very powerful. And so what we're going to be trying to do is uh, have Final Sparks with Kindred, where we can use like one Final Spark to slay one uh, enemy and then have Kindred mark a different enemy and then Kindred slays that enemy as well, right? So it kind of gives us like um, a lot of inevitability with the Lux and then Kindred kind of locking the opponent down and just slaying a ton of things. Like that's that's the goal. Um, so we'll see how much, how well it works out. So we're going to have a lot of early units, um, even Vile Feast making Spiderlings, then all of these things. And basically just kind of playing some some early defense with with our and with our uh, small early bodies and then we'll be able to slay them with with spirit leech to get some card advantage in here same with with uh, glimpse beyond but then also slaying them is going to be important for radiant guardian right because when it, we need our units to die for radiant guardian to be life steal and tough and then remembrance you know maybe hits a radiant guardian also or, or gets us some other stuff and then we take then uh, in the mid game we play our champions kindred lux and have them take over the late game. We'll have a couple of uh, removal spells for larger things with two vengeance, one ruination, and an unyielding spirit to put on our champions to uh, help them just stay alive for a long time. Um, with the meta game these days, with all the blade dances everywhere and stuff like that, uh, we got three copies of withering whale, and that's about it, and two copies of the box. And that's our deck. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Kindred Lux. Here we go. All right, so we definitely want to find our eight early units. Which maybe there needs to be more than eight. But those are like the cards we want to see early on. All right, cool. So we're playing against some Spider Aggro. So hopefully all these Withering Whales in the box and stuff like that will do some good work. We'll start with just keeping our two drop and looking for some more early stuff. Remembrance can also just be a round three play. I should probably have one earlier unit in here. Kind of looking at, like, while well, I was just talking about the deck list, and yeah, I think we're going to make one small change after this. I'm going to, we have like eight early units. I'm going to make that nine, and I'm going to cut it down to two Spirit Leech, I think. I think this deck should be playing two Spirit Leech, not three. But it needs one more early thing. Anyone hurt? <laughs> oh, it's a Legion Marauder deck. How about that? Where are you? Look what I found. That's unexpected. I'm gonna skip the block and take four. Because now you know like blocking these later on, you're just gonna do more than four. All right, and I'll just pass the round. I don't know, because like I could attack, but then I, I feel like they could do something. I don't know. I, I like that they're not putting more out on the board than just that. You should have run. I pull the strings. Where we go? All right, free. it's Kindred Day. Let's get Kindred out here. Look what I found. Plenty for all of us. Alright, so I'd imagine like a Whirling Death or something like that, but we're gonna, you know, make them play their cards. Oh, wow. That's not what I imagined. They will. No, that is not what I imagined. Let the light guide you. 
All right, Kindred and Lux, take over. Oh, ruination? I was not expecting that. Boy, was I not expecting that. I guess if I don't cast the Glimpse Beyond, I could have Remembranced. The more we learn, the less we fear. My Flame Protector. What's that noise? This dragon is positively otherworldly. All right, looking for some champions because they just cleaned up both mine and a ruination. They got you know eight cards over there, as many as I do. That would have been a good card to glimpse beyond, but I have just too many cards in my hand. <laughs> and yeah, I could have I could have played Remembrance right there, but you know it could be another uh, whatever it's called. It could be another Ruination from them. I gotta play something. We got ten cards. Don't really like any of my other options. I like that card. Come on, boys. Screeching Dragon's a great one to unyielding spirit. Lux is another good one to a yielding spirit. So I, I kind of want to force their hand to like play stuff, right? Like, I want them to be reacting and, you know, maybe let me, you know, play Lux and not, not have, like, I don't want them to have the mana to be able to Vengeance or Ruination a Lux. So I can play it and then make sure it stays alive so the next round I can Unyielding Spirit in response to one of those things. They're keeping seven mana up all the time. Justice will be served. So this again is going to force me to have ten cards in hand. We do have a lot of card drawn here. I know we've had every single glimpse beyond and uh, Spirit Leech, it seemed like. We're at 16, they're at 24. So 
I don't think about just casting Ruination right now. Um, no. The sun is shining. We should too. Look what I found. Hold back the darkness. What is this? I'm not very good at protecting Lux. Not very good at protecting Lux. What's up, everybody? Hope Sand coming in here. All right. So we're not in a bad spot. We got more cards in hand. And I'm kind of glad I saved. Ruination. Right about now. So it's a Legion Marauder Harrowing. Assume they're just trying to do harrowing again next turn. I should have just done this first. Yeah, that's that's what it definitely looks like. They just have another one. Oh, I should have done that first. It's not a harrowing. What are the cards in their hand? <laughs> you know? Could they just be like culling strikes? A bunch of culling strikes and scorched earths? Okay, so just like we said after the video, we're gonna uh, take out one copy of Spirit Leech, get another um, early blocker. We just need one more of these cards in here. I thought we had eight of them, but we, we actually only had seven, so now we have eight of those small things. So uh, one Spirit Leech out. All right, here we go. All right, Gangplank Sejuani. Man, I love the champions. But I just kind of have to mulligan the top of the curve. Yeah, see, we'll, <laughs> we'll find the top of the curve again anyway. Dang, we really will. That's a bad mulligan. <laughs> just getting all five plus cards. Dang. Might as well have not mulliganed. What is this? 
Okay, I will predict that if we don't draw a single card that costs less than five mana, we will lose this game. Really? The winter's claw. I, mean, I guess. We gotta have something to play this round. Well, I did say I like the champions. I guess it's my fault. Don't you love how we, we drew something that was cheaper, like round five, the <laughs> the round that we have the other things to play? It's like, thanks, Apple Search Crap, for not showing up a lot earlier. I honestly kind of want to Unyielding Spirit this, um, this Radiant Guardian. But I also kind of want to have Lux in play first. Can I take this? Can I play Lux this round? Or do I have to play two bodies? Like, do I have to play Kindred Hapless? I think I can play Lux this round. We can do this. Cool. Have them waste six mana? I'm all for that. One mana short, though, from having the Prismatic Barrier help protect. My unyielding spirit. Captain's orders. Bullet to the f Stay back. Demacian steel. Try Demacian magic. Are you sure? I guess. All right, Kindred, your time to shine. Roll, my warriors. Let's get some more dragons. Chomp up some huge eight eights. seven overwhelm right now because like if I spirit journey this thing it doesn't mark it it does come back as a six seven though and not an 11 13 yes yeah, so if I if I spirit journey the one three will mark it but it, that that we can't do that because that only kills it at the end of the round and then such challenges and that's that's bad we can't do that we have two options unyielding spirit Kindred or Spirit Journey Sejuani. And this is just the best option. I don't want to take seven. That's a good card. Should probably be playing like Hapless Aristocrat. Hail, War Mother. Drive them before us, Era. Instead of completely passing. That egg. Did it move? It's basically we we've already seen them have the that six mana harpoon that deals five, and that's what I'm worried about here with unyielding spirit on my kindred. We must be patient. 
I'm worried about that monster harpoon. We've already seen them play one. I've never seen a specimen without wings before. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. I rarely forget and never forgive. I could I should just attack. I should be attacking right now. I for, I could just challenge that 01. I could challenge it with like this furious dragon too. I I should just have my fury dragon attack this thing. Yeah, I should just pull it instead of doing this. I just got too excited. Ah, oh, they had the monster harpoon. And that's all I was worried about with the unyielding spirit. So much damage. Down to four. Just down to ten. Now we're pretty dead. Those monster harpoons were amazing. So basically my hope here was they were greedy enough to like wait till next round to play Sejuani. Like they play Sejuani next round and then I ruination, right? Like that was like my hope. Alright, GG's opponent. Yeah, good... Yeah, good job. The opponent played that very well, though. They they did. They played it very well. Um, they played it very well. Jarvan Shen. Vengeance can be vengeance can be a very important. You're killing like a, a Jarvan coming in, stuff like that. Screeching Dragon. But man, do we not want to get um, denied. You know, like, keep Vengeance, then it gets denied. Um, I have extra Withering Whales in here because of the current metagame with how aggro it is and everything, but we are just facing large unit decks, three for three, with the Withering Whale looking like just a dead card. Three for three so far. Well, I mean, I guess it could kill some flea feather trackers, but they're flea feather trackers. Like I don't care about them. What's that noise? Got your back. Other options just letting this happen and then casting Remembrance, and to be honest, that could have been a better option. But this one's not bad. 
as far as Withering Whale goes, that's about as good as it's going to do. It, it can break up barriers, though, later. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been so dismissive of it because its ability to destroy barriers. River shape the land and give it life. That's, that's good. That's good for us. River Shaper... Uh, you know, River Shaper is awesome. So being able to get rid of a River Shaper, that's good. I'm considering going, you know, like letting this happen, then black try to black spear the Jarvan, um, you know, like with Kindred, you know, Kindred black, like black spear the Jarvan, assuming they counter the black spear, then maybe I can drop Kindred glimpse beyond my hapless earth or crap. But we'd only be marking the bright steel protector at that point. We we'll at least get that mark in. Hmm. Maybe it's actually better just to play Lux and start Lux level up. Do you like that vile feast? Once more, soldier of Demacia. Where we go, they retreat. Providence guide me. Protect and strike. Okay, so we knew that one of our champions was going to die. And so, like, instead of them killing Lux, now they're killing the uh, Kindred. I've been hiding my life too long. Don't exactly know I'm not blocking the 6 4 with the 1 1. Don't have an exact answer for that. I'm not making that block. By the light. They are down to just three other cards. Like, we are getting a lot of barriers out of their hands. would still get their spell from River Shaper, but we'll take it. So they got a Jarvan and three cards in hands, and we got six cards in hands. But of course they have the Jarvan in play. Just casting Lux. Yeah, to get the Nightfall Dragon I'd have to just waste a Vile Feast first. And I'm not really 
wanting to waste a vile feast for that. I'm doing this anyway because I want the 1 1 blocker. Right, so I was going to be casting that uh, right here anyway. That's a good card. Two worlds, one balance. Um, I'm not sure which one to Vengeance. I guess it's you. No, they had to deny. Looked like that was their first card. Maybe they were like very patient on that deny. Enforced equilibrium. That's what it looked like. They are under my protection. Never back down from what you believe. Yeah. Because I couldn't, yeah, like, we would go down to one, so I couldn't just not block anyway. Man, this is a wonderful turn for them, right? Shen plus deny plus pump spell. For having four cards in hand, that was a wonderful three cards to have. That was a wonderful three cards to have. Shen, Shen deny, pump spell. Now I have to kill Jarvan. So I guess I have to vengeance Jarvan now? Because it just makes the cataclysms? Really, I need to draw Ruination, right? Like, that's... Ruination is what I need. With me. Good on Yielding Spear at this 5 5. My father's blade. Away with you. Because, like, if I, if I vengeance the Jarvan right here, or they just Cataclysm the formation you right and like kill my thing with cataclysm there and so this this allows them to not be able to kill anything with the cataclysm now how am i surviving the next attack i don't know yet we obviously have the vengeance but i don't, that's not going to be enough that's really a poor play by them because now, like, this would allow me to play another blocker if I had another blocker. Now, I don't have another blocker, right? But that, that by doing that, they just let me play another blocker. Unfortunately, I just don't have one. Yeah, so I don't know how I survive next round still, but it at least, you know, gives me something. Yeah, which I can't. So this was definitely one that round that they had. You know, they had Bright Steel formation. And then right after that, that was the perfect round of Shen. Like, Shen's, Shen was like the perfect th other threat to go along. So Shen plus Deny plus Pump Spell to kill your Lux. When you, you only have four cards, that's three of the four. GG's. Right. I haven't played those three games the best. Like, just absolutely perfectly, right? Like, it's, it's... It's it's not easy. It's not easy, that's for sure. But we haven't... We haven't been really rewarded <laughs> for anything, either. Opponents haven't uh, given us any kind of um, breath, right? Like, they've been... 
Do I keep the second remembrance? Probably not. This would be a good matchup for um, Unyielding Spirit, right? Like a champion Unyielding Spirit. They don't have very much fast removal at all. This would be a good matchup for something like that. I'm going to do this right now while they can't glimpse beyond. They can't get any slays with any of these things. It's only a two for one, I know. But that just that's going to keep their slay count down. Or not. Always forward. To get me out of here. My whole your time in the system is done. I only, I only waste one mana. Alright, I like the Lux. But I guess if they're like playing Thresh this round, I guess I should Vile Feast last round anyway because of Thresh. That's too bad. Then again, maybe one of these two was Thrash, and I just kept them from playing it beforehand. Gonna make a meal of them. So next round is round six. Do I want to set up Ruination for next round? Not particularly. The box could... Yeah, I could have played the box just to kill the Merciless Hunter. So both these are going to do 4 damage either way. It's a 4-3 that can't grow anymore or a 4-2 that keeps growing. I think the 4-2 that keeps growing is probably scarier. to have unyielding spirit for this matchup. Okay, so that's that's their second glimpse beyond. Yeah, I guess they wanted to keep the old one out there. Not exactly sure why. Yes. 
So I'll 10 mana next round, so I'll have enough for Vengeance on the Nasus, as well as Prismatic Barrier, if they try to atrocity it to like kill one of my things. So if I have Vengeance right now, they do get to play a new Nasus before attacking. And the new Nasus would be an 8-8, eight, eight, and I would have 8 damage to kill it. Oh no, I wouldn't have Black Spear. Black Spear wouldn't be available. Hold back the darkness. They've already used two Glimpse Beyonds. It's hard for me to stop that. My hand is not good versus Atrocity. If they have another one, I'm in a lot of trouble. Why why do you say if they would have attacked with everything they would have won? I mean I would have I would have blocked both of these two things. We have a lifesteal thing. Like, how would they have won? All right, so I'm going to put this out here. I'm definitely not casting it, but I'm putting it out here just to show my opponent I have a spell that I'm thinking about playing that they should be scared of. And I'm going to let it resolve. Banish the unworthy! Into battle with hearts aglow! See, now they're s scared of said spell. They're passing. Uh, mostly for stream. Like to dress nice on stream. A lot of ways to stop Nasus. I've really built this to fight the aggro decks, but I mean, Nas you know, Nasus is definitely the most, uh, you know, one of the most played decks. But that's the that's the hole in the matchup for us is Nasus plus Atrocity. Um, yeah, that's that's the hole in the, in the matchup. All right, Draven Ezreal. So the box is... I think we're going to keep these, the boxes. Like, they they are good removal against both champions, right? Like, four like four mana kill a Draven, four mana kill an Ezreal. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. It's worth it. Okay, good draw. Time for a true display of skill. You, you cannot. Yep, we gotta find vengeance for Captain Farron, definitely. This is another great unyielding spirit matchup. Wow, 
I'll have to take care of this ballistic bot eventually. Can you improve perfection? If I didn't have the other kindred, I wouldn't play this one. I'm playing it with have with having the backup. So I didn't want to glimpse beyond the 3-1, the because if I glimpse beyond the 3-1, then, then we would have marked the 1-1 one, one that we were just killing anyway. Just gotta hope they don't have two Ravenous Flock. Good. Static shocks. Dang. Could see passing. Attack, but I could see passing. And then shutting down my glimpse beyond card draw. That hurts. They got one extra card than I do. We got a Vengeance for a Farron. We got the box for the champions. Ezreal, though, now has four health, but we do have the box plus Vile Feast. I do like the Vile Feast also. Just because we get to Spirit Leech it. the box on that thing. Can I go to 10? Definitely worried about Ezreal. Worried about Ezreal and Captain Farron. Well, I could play this for four mana right now. I kind of want to wait till after Lux is in play. That'll probably end up being the incorrect decision for how things have gone for me today.
If they don't have Captain Farron there, you know, I'm probably playing Radiant Guardian. But with Captain Farron, I need to Vengeance that thing. And so I'm playing the Lux to go along with the Vengeance. No more holding back. It's time. The synergies between Lux and Kindred, they are both control champions that want to play longer games. You can have Final Sparks with Lux slay units that then Kindred mark something else if you'd have a Lux and a Kindred and play at this at the same time. It's a nice time for the box. I can't I can't pass because if I pass they pass. If I just cast the box they don't play anything else so then I just waste my final spark. So we're kind of, like, we kind of have to do this, even though <laughs> yeah, it's not, not what I want to do. Okay, cool. Still get good at the box value. Worked out. Four to six. left besides these decimates. So Vile Feast on their side is not going to kill anything. It's important to get this 1-1 out here so that they do play, you know, something like an Ezreal or, you know, something like that. Like, then I can, I can, like, if they lead with Ezreal, I can go Spear at Leech, kill the 1-1, and then Black Spear before it attacks and does damage. If I would have open attacked last round, I wasn't killing them anyway. Which is why I wanted to make sure to play... The, you know, which is why I want to play this Radiant Garden to get my Nexus health up a little bit more. Um, really hoping to find it one of our three Withering Whales. Okay, I guess they don't have, they don't get excited. So that'll do. Yeah, so I ended up going 2-3 with our first Kindred deck. Would, would single combat be better than Black Spear? I don't know, sometimes. Like, if you have the Radiant Guardian, like, maybe we do need a couple of single combats because of Radiant Guardian. But, like, our champions aren't really things that we really want to be single combating. We need to be able to heal our Nexus a little bit more against that Thresh Nasus opponent, but... You know, our deck's, our deck's okay. Um, it's, you know, it's it's okay. There are... We um, we played some close games there. Like, all three of the losses were ones that were fairly close that, um, you know, hindsight, maybe I could have made different decisions to help us out. It's... It, it was kind of a tricky one to sequence. You know, you need your you need your cards to line up, right? When you're playing a control deck like this, you got to hope that like your cards line up against what your opponent's throwing out there. And um, sometimes they just had like the you know like the uh, parts of the deck that uh, you know they didn't really line up. Like all three of our games that we lost were against uh, decks with like huge champions, right? Like you know huge Sejuani's after Tusk Raider and and Gangplank and stuff, and then the the shen bright steel for, formation jarvan combo like those three that and then of course nasus right so like we lost to you know nasus atrocity twice like double you know double nasus atrocity like those are our three losses so yeah how do we deal with like the really large things like how you know like there's we have vengeance basically right and we hope vengeance works if they use deny on vengeance which happened um that's that's going to be kind of tough 
Um, I could have done a better job like protecting Lux in a couple of those losses than what I did, and I think that was um, definitely a, um, a mistake, not protecting Lux as much as I needed to, but... I don't know. All right, so that's our first Kindred deck. We got a couple more Kindred decks, right? So let's let's uh, try some different uh, different Kindred decks along with this. So we're about to get aggro now. We were control with Lux. We're going to get aggro with Draven. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. There are so many different cards that we could play in this kind of deck. Sharp Sight, Single Combat, Concerted Strike among them, besides all the different units and um, everything. It's it's hard, you know, finding like that, that right mix. So if you have any um, suggestions... With the deck, feel free to leave them there in the chat. But that's going to be it here for Kindred Lux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.